Hello, we will be explaining how our system works and why each sensor is needed in the system. But first of all, when the moisture sensor is outside of soil, the pump will turn because it, ch it shows the, as if uh, there is dry soil, so the functionality is right, there should be a water pumping mechanism. Okay, now, in order to explain all of this, our system is supposed to check uh, for the dryness of the soil and uh, see if it needs water pumping. So let's say we have a plant and uh, the soil is dry, there will be uh, water pumped into it and we will check the humidity and temperature to see if it's in the right uh, conditions to grow. And we'll also, also check CO2 levels to see if it's healthy to put it in rooms, for example, or to take it out. And finally, we will also check uh, the irradiance levels to see if uh, there's enough sun or light intensity for it to grow. Let's start uh, by testing everything. So if we take a look at the screen, there's uh, an alerts functionality where it shows us uh, what uh, is low for example here it shows temperature but that is because uh, the temperature sensor we have needs some time to get uh, the right values so it starts by giving us uh, an alert and later to get uh, the right values so it starts by giving us uh, an alert and later on it will disappear uh, also there are push buttons and switches the push button is used to get to the next screens. This is the CO2 uh, levels and the temperature. As you can see, when we put our hand on the sensor, the temperature will rise slowly. It has a slow response rate. And uh, of course, the CO2 is changing because it's on the table. Okay, so it's working fine. Then if we press again, we can see it's giving us a humidity alert because uh, we just put our hand on the sensor and it, it's very humid. So it gives us again the, after the alerts. Then we can see the moisture levels. Of course, uh, it's 100 because we just had our hand on it and the irradiance levels. And uh, sorry, because uh, the sensor <laughs> is inside the soil. So if we put flash on the PV cell sensor, we can see the irradiance level grow slowly. It should be increasing, but uh, the wires are probably getting in the way of... Give us a moment. Okay, finally we will uh, test the PV cell sensor functionality. So as we can see, when we apply flash, close to it, we, will, we should get an increasing number of uh, at the end. The minus was an error, I guess. But it's working fine now. And uh, that's all uh, we have right now. Uh, something for the future could be maybe uh, fixing the use of the CO2 sensor for more uh, beneficial reasons, or maybe putting uh, different functionalities for the PV sensor, such as, for example, when there is very low light charging the batteries, since it works on a 12 volt battery. And uh, yeah, maybe fix how it looks too. <laughs> Thank you, goodbye.